Good evening, everybody. They say that a week can be a long time in politics. And if you go back a week, I suspect very few of us were aware of the choice of definition others would choose to put on the phrase locker room banter. <laughs> a lot can change in a week. Imagine how much can change in a year. Since many of us were in this room last year, the degree of change is significant for the countries in the UK and for our organizations, whether they're local, national, or international. Almost a year ago to the day, who we can now call the then Prime Minister, David Cameron, addressed the Conservative Party conference and shared his vision of Britain in the UK, and then spent the next four months on an intense diplomacy crusade across the capitals of Europe. And he secured a package of measures. The 19th of February, a package of measures. And gave us a date for the referendum, the 23rd of June. A lot can change in a year. We got a new word. A new word entered the everyday lexicon of Brexit. It wasn't just every day, it seemed to be every second and every minute, every second word. And I think the rest is history, or at least history in the making. Because we woke up on the 24th of June to a very different and somewhat uncertain world. And we now have to make our way and find our position in that world. And there'll be many decisions to be taken and then delivered against much of which is now unknown. But I would venture one thing. For us to forge ahead and be prosperous, we, both individually and collectively, will not just need to be at the top of our game. We'll need to be at the top of the game. And there are lots of ups and downs. And some people's ups will be other people's downs. What we see happening with Sterling, to some people, will be a competitive opportunity. For others, it will just be a margin and bottom line hit. And what we really need to find a way to do is to build long-term, sustainable leadership. And how do we do that? How do we get to the top of the game? We continually assess. We continually learn. We continually improve. We continually excel, and then we continually share. Because if we do, and when we do, we become world-class, maybe world-beating competitors, and we become compelling and sought-after collaborators. Now that is why I am ever more passionate about the role, the relevance, and the value of BQF, because that's what we do. That's what we do with our members. That's what we are all about. We're all about rigorous assessment, the opportunity to learn, the catalyst for improvement, how we nurture the appetite to excel and create an environment to share. That is what we are all about, and that's why I think BQF is even more relevant now, has more opportunity together with its members than it's ever had. And BQF has changed a lot over the last year to meet these kind of challenges, put an awful lot in place. We have new premises, new website, developed new services that will give different insights, different interventions, new events, new opportunities to come together as a network. And even when we see an event like tonight, firstly, we must thank Russell and his team for all the changes. But when you see the quality of what BQF even does on an event, I must thank Rosie Day and all her team for everything they've done to create this evening. It really is about excellence in action. The other thing I'd say about BQF is we get our strength from our members. And so to our members, 
I really do thank you for engaging with us, the support you provide us, and the loyalty you show to us. It's much appreciated. I know there's many new members here this evening, and I thank you for the, the trust you put in us in terms of developing your future. One final thank you I'd like to make, and maybe it's a personal one. It's to the board of BQF. We've said goodbye to a number of members of the board who've served us over many years and said hello this year to some, some new ones. Uh, the value of the commitment, the energy they bring, the experience they bring, actually is a heartbeat for this organization. And I personally owe them a vote of thanks, and particularly to Gary, who joined us on the board this year. You'll be hearing a little more from Gary later, again, for the, for, for the sponsorship of this. It's a, it's a great commitment they all give. Now, I've spoken a lot about change, but it's fair to say that one thing is not going to change. The caliber of what you do and how you do it and the results that you achieve is how we are measured. And that's why tonight is so exciting, because it is all about those achievements that you've done. It's an opportunity to recognize, to celebrate, and to share in that success. And so I wish you all a fantastic evening. Congratulations to the nominees and the eventual winners. You deserve it. Let's celebrate the best of the best. Have a great evening. Thank you, Karen.